light enough and support to me because the alternative is I'd be dead. That's just a fact of life. That uh, I was in terrible, terrible shape. That uh, my blood pressure was off the wall. I was eating pure, awful stuff. I wasn't getting a good night's sleep, and I'm spending a fortune on pills in addition to my Medicare. So uh, I started walking. That was the first thing I did. And then I started playing around with diet. But then I started to eat right. One of the biggest things that I found that's really helped me in the last year is I've watched that new valve over at Brookshire's and I've got the people over 60 that are getting in groups that we're walking through to find out what's good. My response when somebody says, well, you eat right, is when they tell me what's bad, I say, how am I supposed to know that? Well, it's got to be simple. I have a theory, keep it superbly simple. So how do you feel today after walking a mile? Well, my pulse is right, my blood pressure is right, and I feel good. Well, this is the final event for Fit City, the Fit City Challenge, and I wanted to be in the final event, and number one, I want that car. <laughs> So how does it feel to be recognized for your accomplishments over the last year or so? Well, it's, you know, it's really rewarding, but I mean, it's like a Fit City Inspiration Award, but I didn't get here without inspiration. My, my, uh, my first one is here actually, so, um, and I didn't get here by myself because I watched my coworkers do stuff and I watched, I met a lot of people at the gym that really like lifted me up and allowed me to be able to sustain this journey. It, it means a lot because if I can inspire someone, it's just going to be paying it forward because I really want this amazing feeling. I want this for everybody who wants it, everyone who thinks they can't have it and has tried and failed and tried and failed. Like, you can do it. It's just a matter of consistency. The first step is walking. I mean, how I started, I lost 25 pounds without really even trying was my car broke down and I, uh, I had to walk. And so then I lost 25 pounds without trying. So I would say start walking. The next step is just, you know, like, maybe, don't be extreme like me, I'm whole hog, I took everything out, I changed my diet, started exercising like a crazy person on day one. And that's not for everyone, maybe that's for you, but it might set yourself up for failure. The key is taking out certain things, like stop drinking regular soda, don't eat three cookies, eat half a cookie, you know, like, don't eat cookies, eat fruit, you know, just, you know, don't eat fried chicken eat baked chicken you know just make making small changes and making them consistently day after day after day and not getting upset with yourself if you fall face first into a pint of Ben and Jerry's it's you know it's just keep going you know you just got to keep going and don't give up on yourself if you fail the first week or the second week or a month in or even if you fail the first day just keep doing it over and over again